Well, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ral, and today I was going to tease you with a uh, restoration candidate here, a uh, kit I picked up from a, a friend of mine, uh, Mark Nellis, uh, a little over a year ago, actually. But I um, picked this thing up, and I figured I would uh, tease you and show you, and and we'll, we'll go over it a little bit. But as you know, I like to restore old model kits and, and build vintage models, so I'm not afraid to pick up any of those. But this one, it's a 68 Dodge Cornet RT. This is an MPC kit. So, um, pretty rare kit um, nowadays. And pretty much a holy grail for a lot of people. And uh, since I, I like all muscle cars, I'm trying to get as many as I can. But So I'll show you what uh, I had gotten in this. First, <clears throat> quick glimpse. There's the body. Yeah, pretty much the, the main kit right here and all of its glory. As you can see, it was previously built before and stripped. So she's, you know, it's pretty pretty clean for the most part. The tail lights aren't in there and uh, not a whole lot of glue marks. There's some in some of the areas where the bumper is attached. But, um, you know, it's been painted and stripped. It needs a, just a little bit of work up in here and you can see all right in here it's uh, got some glue from where the bumper goes but the bumper go right back on top of it and then the grill and you know it's got uh, some work some of the mold lines are still here so I can sand them off when you restore it but uh, this one's going to get built I just uh, it, it's been sitting so I really don't have a vision or plan for it here's the chassis which has got an engine in here with headers the molded in exhaust and it's been jacked up Kind of a day two look with these uh, wheels and tires, which are from different kits here. Um, it's definitely got some vintage tires. Like, see, you got the molded in orange plastic, and it's actually a later chassis. Looks like this is probably from one of the General Lee kits because it was pretty much the same same chassis. There's the whole inside of the body. You can see some glue marks in there, and you know somebody had loved this before, but. Uh, you know, definitely, definitely nice. All of the moldings are there. There's the Dodge and the RT and all the script. The emblems are there. The emblems here. The C pillar. So all of the emblems are there. So everything to make this thing stock, it's all there. But uh, I probably won't use this. I really don't know yet. Like I said, I don't really have a vision. And here's the '68 interior tub. So you can see the seat broke uh, some of the floor out but another seat will cover that up and the firewall is glued in place if I change out the chassis to a more modern chassis I'll have to cut this out because it's glued on there pretty good but I can chisel it and cut it you see it looks like it was ground ground in here but I'll show you what else is in the box here because it comes with the, a lot of Here's the bumpers. I had them re-chromed already, so the bumpers are chromed. They're just wrapped up to make sure they're they're good. And here's the rest of the stuff that has come with it. As you can see, some of the stuff has been collected for me. There's a vacuum glass for model Haas. So it's got some glass. Here's some of the vintage parts, the taillights, which having those is pretty pretty good the center console the actual 68 center console and a pair of the original wheels just two though I do have a set of the factory hubcaps but these come from the Ravel kit um, the 68 and 69 dark kits had these so that's where they came from although they're a little bit big um, I still don't know if I'm going to use them or if I'll dig out uh, another set of these stock wheels and stock diameters or if I get stock red line tires haven't decided here's a Coronet RT grill this is a model Haas replacement and it's got a steering wheel that's from a General Lee kit and then a dash from a General Lee kit and the firewall this is from another uh, MPC kit but it's the same firewall it's actually molded in yellow like this it's probably from one of the Charger 500s or um, even the 71 Roadrunner, but uh, you know it's still the same firewall in all of those kits. But 
And then here's the two front seats. See they were heavily glued in, but they're present. That's the main thing with the molded in seat belts. And then the last piece, it's pretty hard to find sometimes for this kit, is the stock hood. A lot of these were cut out. Now, uh, currently, uh, uh, Hearts Parts Resins makes a replacement of this hood. So he's currently doing it. Model Haas did do it. But, uh, you know, Model Haas is gone now, unfortunately. But, uh, so, all the major components I need for the body are all here. The vacuform glass, all the chrome. Um, so it's all ready as far as going other than start priming it and doing any of the body work and figure out where I'm going to go with it. Um, so, but uh, I figured I would share this with you and see what you guys think and let you guys drool and dream and, and how would you build it? Let, let me know what you would do. Would you put in a, a 383 or a Hemi, which is uh, the only engine options for the Coronet RT, uh, not 383, 440 and Hemi for 68. Standard was the 440, Hemi was uh, um, the upgraded engine. The Super B was 383 and uh, Hemi, uh, no 440 in the Super B, which was pretty much the same car um, other than trim and whatnot, just kind of a base. But anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you would do if you would date to it, put some Kragers on it, jack up the rear a little bit, or do it stone stock. Um, kind of curious, you know, what, what you guys would do and what color you would pick, if factory color or an outrageous color. So I'm going to put some of this back in the, the bag here and just get some get some of your ideas and how you would build it and what you would do. And then as a little little bit of teaser and eye candy, move this a little bit out of the way. Here's a couple that I have done. This is one I converted into a 68 Super B. And then here's another one. Here's a convertible 68 Coronet RT. Now these, um, just before you get too excited, both of these are resin. They're, they're not original kits. Um, but both of them are no longer available, unfortunately. This started off as a Model Haas uh, resin kit, Coronet RT, just like that. But I converted it to a Super B, so changed it all out. But I used uh, the later AMT chassis under it. And then I put the 440 in it, but I dressed it up as a 383, which is what the Super B had. And I changed the trim up a little bit. I'll feature more on this car and as it's built um, at another time. And then same thing with this one. This one, I believe, was a garage cast resin convertible kit. Both of these have been built a long time ago. Um, at least 10 to 15 years ago but um, and then this one yeah I had to put a Hemi in this one make it a Hemi Coronet RT convertible but with the modern chassis I really like this AMT chassis from the Roadrunner GTX the 69 GTX and 68 Roadrunner and it's also included in the 70 Coronet um, the newer releases and um, it drops right in there so I'll probably end up using that chassis and even in that one because it's just an easy swap and it's just as easy to get as it is finding another uh, Dukes of Hazard kit to put that chassis in it. But uh, so there's some teasers right there on the potential of what this kit can look like when it's done. But uh, so I'm just real curious on what uh, what uh, you guys would think, what you guys, how you would build it, would you put the bumblebee stripe on the back and or would you dress it down and you know how how would you build it what color would you do you know what kind of style even if you put a big blower sticking out of the hood which uh i you know to, to be straight up i'm not going to do that um but uh i don't know if this one's going to end up being a hemi hardtop which uh highly possible that's what it's going to end up being since i already did the super b as a 383 but uh curious what you know would you put wheels on it would you put wheels like this on it you know how how would you build it how would you restore it so i'm just real curious uh, throw your ideas out there it is not for sale i'm sorry but um i just figure i'd throw up a, a restoration candidate here and i'm going to call it that my restoration candidate and um, see what you guys think and how you guys would build it and and uh see what the responses are 
I've got a, a number of uh, uh, kits like this that I've um, collected and got ready to restore and, and they're just now sitting. Um, Chrome's been redone. So I've got a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to do a couple of these videos and we'll see you know, if I get to building it, if I like your ideas. Um, kind of bounce off of them myself since I know I'm going to build it. I just don't know how or what colors or final details. But uh, let me know what you think uh, in your comments and everything. And thank you for subscribing and thank you for tuning in. And you guys, you have a wonderful day.